I'm a part owner in uh, mechanical concrete. Sam Bonasso is the inventor, and I'm uh, under his uh, tutelage, I should say. To, to make a me mechanical concrete cylinders, we cut the sidewalls out of the tires. We lay the, the cylinders down on in, on the ground or in a in the road base where we. Uh, whatever you want to do to dig it out, how, how deep you want it to dig it out, and then we fill them with number 57 gravel, or you can fill them any derived uh, uh, filler that you can put in that hole. And after you get the cylinders and the, and the gravel inside, it's ready to run on. It, the road is ready to go immediately. There's no compacting. There's no uh, uh, have to compact it and use water to uh, compact it like they do now with the ro with the road. So the cost of redoing a base road is is uh, we guarantee at least 25 percent cheaper than it would cost you to build a regular road uh, with in, in the old system. Uh, it's a heavy hauling road, so and, and, and the reason is one of the reasons it's cheaper is you're going to use less material than you would use on a, on a regular road because it's not as thick as a, as a regular base road would be if you was doing a heavy hauling road. This road is not finished, but this is the cylinders we laid down. We did this by hand. My men did this by hand. But we, as you see, we can put the cylinder. This has been here for three years. We put the cylinder down, filled them with this 57 gravel, and we that's all we did was run on it. There was no compaction, no anything, but we did not finish it because the road on this needs to be topped. Now, we either if you keep it in like a gravel road, like this is, we would put probably an inch and a half of, of of uh, crush and run on top of this so you wouldn't see the cylinders and this would all be covered up. We built a few roads at the new power plant out on uh, at Fort Martin next to Fort Martin uh, and, uh, and we built uh, 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 three uh, blacktop roads out there, one cement road and a gravel road out there. And the gravel road uh, at, uh, is out there is to a way station that's, uh, that they have 300 coal trucks a day that are loaded uh, and they weigh them. And since we put that road in, the, the manager of that plant told us his maintenance has gone down 75%. So he's saving on the back end of it too. This, uh, this uh, blacktop roads have been there uh, going on, it's been there four years. And, and they have not, they've had a little bit of problems with them, but they just recently, but they haven't had a pothole in four years. The cement road is where they come out of the plants, and there's water on that road every day because they have to uh, uh, spray off the wheels so there's not dust going down the highway after they leave the plant. And that road's been cement road, and it's been there four years, and they have not had a problem with that road at all. Before we put our system in on that road, they've had to redo it almost every year because the potholes and the roads were washed out because of the freezing and thawing of the water on that road. But since we've done it, they have not done that. Now we have some roads over in Westover that the uh, city of Westover has uh, redone. They had a problem down on Mon Boulevard that every, every year they were having to replace the road because there was potholes in it because there's water washing across it and they had heavy trucks on it and they were they were causing them to have the road deteriorate since we've had that road in there for three years right now and they haven't had one pothole on it and if you go over to the ballpark over in Westover where, where the baseball field is down there uh, they had a, a round home plate or around the, where the bleachers were there was water that seemed to get in there all the time and, they, and the, the fans would walk through there and they'd get muddy because it was always wet. We put that in two years now and that has solved their water problem around the bleachers so they don't have any, any mud and all that where the fans have to walk through. So, so that's been working there. We're just trying to get this word out. We think we can repair all the roads and at an economical cost.